Marcus, check this out. Somebody just sent me some cool stuff. Woody's. Look at this. It's Woody's cool. are 60 year old magazines. Who keeps them? Collectors. If you look at this, this is beautiful town and country, late 40s. And this car was probably three grand. And now it's worth probably a buck, a buck and a quarter. But that's real wood, right? Yeah. That's nice. That's a nice car. Then you get in the 70s and you get these ones with the vinyl wrap. These are very popular now. How can any of this stuff be popular? It was popular. Do you remember the vacation series with Chevy Chase when he drove all over the country in one of these? Everybody, when we were kids, we all took trips and wagons. And now they're coming up strong. Now people want them because they grew up seeing them. I don't understand how people like fake wood, but okay. So you want me to start looking for uh, fake wood you, cars? I'd like you to find me five or ten of these, yeah. Okay, and I'll get some... Uh, Vinyl wrapping for your Phantom. You leave my Phantom alone, brother. <laughs> Just get me some wagons. I'm excited. We got the team in the car and we're on the run. We know what it takes to be number one. And we'll be riding high when the day is done. We're just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Woo! Hey, big boy, what you got for me? Woody. Ooh, 57 Country Squire. Now that, you're doing something. I love it. If you I, can get that, get it. I still prefer the original, but okay. No, 50, yeah, it's not 51. real wood. You're right. It's not a 50, 51. That's when it stopped. That's fine for what it is. For that 57, you should buy that car in the 15 range. It should do 20 or 25 back. You don't want to pay more than 15, 16 for that car. Pretty car. Right. Now, if it was the Woody with real wood, it would be two, three times that. And this one? Okay. Now, there's your mid-60s Caprice. Real popular, beast to drive. All vinyl? Yep. So what am I supposed to do with the wood fitted out on this one? Paint it? You can either paint it or buy a kit. What do you consider you can purchase this car for? I think you should buy that car for three to five grand. I think it'll do from eight to 12 back. That's a funny car. That's the end of the Woodies. That's an AMC Pacer, which we like to call Goldfish Bowl because it had so much glass all around it. Uh, not an easy car to sell. I wouldn't want to pay more than 3,500 for one of those. Now, there's a big Chevy wagon. Very popular cars, easy to sell, easy to buy. Parts are all available, no problem. You should buy that car for five to eight grand, probably sell it for 12. All right. Now, this looks a little faded, so just buy the kit for that. Yeah, the kit's available. You want me to buy some fake termites, too? Just find me some of these cars. Okay. Stay focused. I am focused. All right, I'm well, stop attention. making jokes about this. Just buy me five or ten of these wheels. I'm writing in that process. Don't worry about it. What car are you driving home tonight? My rolls. You can't drive the rolls. It's being worked on. Marcus, don't wrap my car in wood. Don't play with me. My buddy Willie's coming over. He's in the used car business, and he just took in a Jag convertible. I do really well with them. And if it's what he said it is, it's mine. I can flip that car, make three to five grand without doing a thing. Condition is key in a car like this. Hey, Willie, what's up, bro? How you doing, Ted? One of the things you like. Come on. Everything good? Good. Today, I'm bringing over a 2006 Jaguar XKR. It's a supercharged edition, special edition car. I've done many, many deals with Ted. Ted doesn't like simple cars. He likes uh, special editions, you know, uh, iconic cars. Today, my target price for this Jaguar, I'm hoping to get around 16,500. I know you like these kind of cars. I do. Pretty decent, pretty clean. 06. 06, yes. Last year they made this model. Nice colors. It's nice. It's got the top cover and everything. Navigation system. I'm in the classic car business. I don't normally buy cars like that, but I'll buy a Bentley convertible, I'll buy a Jag convertible, buy a nice Benz convertible, because there's always someone for them. And they trade real well and real high. How's the tranny? Tranny's great. Shifts nice smoothly. So there's no stories here. The transmissions are German. And when they break, they cost a lot of money to fix. And he said it was fine. That's enough for me. I bought a lot of cars from him. He's never lied to me. It's a supercharger engine, real nice. Real powerful. Now you know we're in the same business. So I know. give me a number. Well, Ted, I'm inspecting for the car. I want like 16.5 for the car. When I asked him how much he wanted, he hit me at 16.5. That's retail. He's got to know I'm not a retail buyer, but maybe he thought I wasn't paying attention and I would pay that. 
Can't blame him. Ted didn't look too pleased about my first number. Let's see what we can do. We always negotiate. Well, we'll be happy today with around 12, five to 13,000. That's my bottom price. I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's see what he says. That's my price, you know? Come on, Come on hurry up, it's I'm raining, man. All right, good. I'll hurry up, it's raining, you're give me, right. Give me a good my, number. My hair should grow. Yeah. 12 grand cash money right now, Oh, dude. man, hit it up a little bit higher, man. Come on. Come on, do something better for me. Come on, from 16.5 to 12. Look at this, look at this damaged wheel. You know, that's little details about used car. It's a used car. It's All not right. a brand new car. And I buy a lot of cars from you. <laughs> yes, 12 you and do. a half make you laugh. 13. No. 12 13. And a half. Do 13. I know you can. 13. I grant five hundred dollars more will kill you. Hurting my hand. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Come on. Five hundred dollars. We get out of rain. It's raining. Come on. Check on it. Do it, man. 12, five. 13. Five hundred dollars more. We go out of the rain. Okay. 13, Let's do 13, it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're done. My hair's starting to grow. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the deal that we did. You know, that was the numbers I was expecting. I got a little bit wet, but it's as a business. So we're both happy. He's happy. We shake hands like we always do. I think that the car would have been mine for 12.5 had the rain not come. My hair was getting in my eyes. I was a mess. The XKR is a really expensive car, and I'm really thrilled to get it for 13 grand. And it's beautiful. I'm good. No problem. I make three, four grand on a car. I got to do nothing. How are you doing? How are Hi, you, Ted. Lucy? Hi, Lucy. Oh, you don't seem happy to see me. What's wrong? Well, I'm just working, trying to make a living. Well, listen, I've got a really good idea. I've done my research. I've found a list of real top car people. And I thought we should, like, throw a cocktail party and even better, have an English theme, like a British car theme. I like the idea, but I don't think the British theme is the way to start. I think Americana is the way to start. Okay. Okay. 57 Chevys. All right. Start with that, I'm probably good with that. And you know, he's also got me looking for Woody's as well. Oh, I love Woody's. And I'm thinking to have the centerpiece be a Woody. But it has to be a real Woody and oh, not, no. not well, the plastic he panels. Want Do we have a real okay. Woody or not? Uh, not right now, but I can probably make it happen. Okay, so therefore, you're in charge of getting all the Chevys and the Woody's. Okay. And you and I are going to do the guest list. And we can exchange and blah, blah, blah and get it done. Deal? Now, can you believe it's only taken four months for him to enjoy Four months? To me, it feels like a lifetime. You know, I've been working here four months. It's the very first time it's actually agreed to one of my ideas. But I think, you know, now he's really seeing what I'm doing for the company. And, um, yeah, it's nice. I must admit that I like Lucy's collector's corner idea. I'm surprised, but she's got a good idea. These are the cars I picked for the event. Said you wanted Chevys. These are the Chevys that I picked, so. I like them. So I like this one. That's a hot rod. People love hot rods. The white car is a two-door post car with a 350 automatic AC ready to go. You know, it's a car, low 30s. It's worth the money. And the Bel Air wagon is a rare car with the curved rear glass. I mean, it's just a pretty car. I mean, I think you picked the right cars. Yeah, I got a lot of 57 Chevys to pick from. I chose these two because you have one that's pretty much all original and one that's been completely hot rodded and modified. But we have a combination of both and you can see two different styles. Both cars are good picks and they're good price cars. We'll probably move them. I gotta tell you, I like Lucy's idea. I think this is gonna work. Do you like Lucy's idea? Yeah. Are you sick? You need a doctor? Are you all no, well no, there? No, 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 this is intelligent. I like the idea. It works. Okay, and I need my real Woody to put in here. A real Woody? Don't give me that face. No, no, you are not a real Woody fan. I, I am. am. A Woody fan. You told me you wanted your little plastic Mar wraps, Marcus. little Woody Marcus, thingies for here. Marcus, Marcus. Real Woody. I told Marcus I want a real Woody. I don't know where he gets his vinyl covered Woody from. I told him a real Woody. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a real Woody. I'm going to try everything humanly possible. This should be a pretty nice event. You know, you got an original and a completely modified car. Believe it or not, Ted's on board for this event, so it should make it interesting that he's actually going to supposedly enjoy himself. Ted! Hey, Larry, what's up, man? Good to see you. Left my wallet in my car, man. Back then in my wallet, my buddy Larry Huber pulls in. He's my friend, he's my dentist. He's a terrific guy and a real car guy. He shows up in his 50 Cadillac that I've been trying to buy for 39 and a half years when he got it. Just to irritate me. So what brings you over here? A, I wanted to see you, and B, maybe I ought to buy myself another toy. A Saturday night car with air conditioning, six passenger old convertible. 
Well, how about if I buy this convertible? Not a chance. It's a Not 1950, a right? It's a 50, and I've had it for 39 and a half years. You know that. Yeah, but how We've about if I give you 50 grand years. for the car? 50 grand, 1,000 a year. I, I have too much enjoyment with it. I always bring my 1950 Cadillac by to see Ted because for 39 and a half years, he's been trying to buy it. It irritates him, but that's OK. He's tough. He can take it. I got a Caddy convertible. Just came in. Yeah. Six passenger, air conditioning, power top. It all works. Good car. Let's look. Let if me you show like you. it, I like it. I like this. Yeah, this is the greatest. I'll give you 52 grand for it right now. Not a chance. What would I do with the money anyway? You don't need it. No. That's, that's Thank my, goodness. my disadvantage. <laughs> Hang in there. Go in there. Make a all left. Right. Show you a car. Hold on. I'm here to see Ted today because I'd like to have a summertime Saturday night car. I need a six-passenger air-conditioned convertible. So I want a, a newer car, but still old enough to enjoy and have fun in. I've done deals with Larry. We've been friends over 35, 40 years. We've done a ton of deals. I like buyers like Larry. A, he doesn't quibble with me about the numbers, and B, he's my friend, and it's always cool to see him. The Eldorado I'm gonna show him is right up his alley. Big, fat convertible. So from one caddy guy to another caddy guy. That's true. I like the color. I don't know if you know that this car was built as a clone of my old car. Same proportions, 126 inch wheelbase, same fake air intake on the side. Larry went into detail about how these cars are so much alike. I had no idea, never thought of it, even to the wheelbase being exact. I saw that 72 Eldorado and I liked it for a lot of reasons, one of which is the car was built as a clone of my 1950. Had the same grill, same front fender line, same rear fender line, although my car has the little bitty fishtail fin. So it is, in fact, a modern version, if you can call 45-year-old car modern, of this vintage of Cadillac that I already have. I like this car. It's a really good car. It's got a beautiful leather interior matching brown with the car. It's got a new top on it. Top works, windows work, AC works, and the car there drives it to 10. Want to hear it run? I do. <laughs> there you go. Just the kind of car it is. Ted got in that car, started it right up. I was impressed, I have to admit, but anything he would want me to buy, I know would run well and be easy to start. Larry likes the size of the car. He likes it, it's a convertible. He likes the color. No brainer, he's gonna buy the car. So what's the damage? Well, I want 14.5 for the car. Your price, because your family, is 12. And that's okay, where it's at. Let me take a little look here. Yeah, that's a that's a fair deal. It work? It works for me. Done. Come here, you. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of memories, Dale. Yes, we do. A lot of a stories. Lot of fun. You know, I'm used to getting bunched and beat up and yelled at. I get a hug at the end. That's Larry. Ted likes to sell cars, and I like to buy them. If we ever feel like making a change, I'll bring it back, and I'll trade it for something else that he has. Out of 360 cars, I'm sure I'll find something else I like. With Larry, there's no going back and forth. It's just fun. It's easy. Done. I give him a number. It's good with him. It's over. Lucy, how are you? I'm nice good, thank you. you. So I'm really happy because the guest list is going really well. Okay. How are we getting on with the Woody? I've tried to find the real Woody, but haven't been able to find it. Well, I have good news. Okay. A friend of mine is selling a tin Woody. Those are nice cars. Yeah, they're very nice cars. He asked if you would give him a call, and I think that might work. Yeah, do me a favor. Let me I'll get his phone number. Tin Woodies are actually very valuable and very collectible, so Ted's going to be happy with it. Lucy's seen the car. She says it's a really nice car. I'm probably most likely gonna get this car. That's something Ted will probably accept as a collector. Word. And guess what? I think we should play a gag on Ted. What do you think? I mean, come on, we have to do it at the event. Can you imagine? We actually got a LeBaron. That's the ugliest car I think that was ever made. Seriously. The best part is, it actually has wood paneling. Like no, it does likes. not. Yeah, that vinyl sticker. Ah, really? You just got it in? So you like can drive it up ago. to the event. We've got to do it. He's going to flip his That's legs, you know hilarious. That, right? hey, look, this is what Lucy got us. Okay. I don't even think he's seen it. Perfect. We've got to do it. I can't wait to see Ted's face when he sees either me or Lucy driving up in that LeBaron. He thinks that he spent all this money on that car. It's going to be hilarious. 
So I'm really positive that this event is going to be successful and technically I am the boss, so next month is definitely going to be the British theme. My friend Pascal called me and he's interested in my Range Rover. Pascal only trades classic cars. This is a big change for him and I'm very surprised. Pascal, what are you doing? Set up in my place. Yes. I must have something you want. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Good to see you. I'm visiting Ted today because I need a modern car. I have only classic cars and to drive every day with my family, uh, it's not good. And I think the Range Rover from Ted is around $35,000, so I bring him around $50,000 or $55,000 car and maybe we can make a deal. So I have too much cars now. And you know, I can't export this, this kind of car in Europe. Nobody knows that. They know Mustang, they know Corvette, but so maybe we can make a deal. Yeah, these are my kind of cars, yeah. no question. The Range Rover's here. I must tell you that I'm not fond of the car. It's got bad karma for me, <laughs> and I've had a few problems with it mechanically. Yeah, and I know I, that. It doesn't bother you. No. I told him that I don't like the car. He says, not a problem, he needs the car. Perfect for me. I need that car gone. What I propose is, these four cars that you don't want, I'll take them, and you can have the Range Rover. Are you crazy, Ted? <laughs> Am I crazy? I've been crazy all my life. What's that going to do with anything? <laughs> yes, but it's a $65,000 car. I give you four cars for a $35,000 car. Let's go over the numbers. I'm not giving him my uh, four cars for this Range Rover. It's always like this with Ted, and uh, we find an arrangement at the end. You know, Pascal's done this a few times. I'm sure he's not going to accept my first offer. But then he'll have to come back and let me know what he wants to do. Maybe I give him another car, maybe I give him a little money. We'll make it happen. How much is this car? What do you think it was? For you. To be really nice, 15. This one, it's exactly a car for you. It's, uh, it's customized. customized. You love that, you have all car customized But here. it's a very limited market. We'll call it 10. So okay. let's call this like 25 so 25. far. Okay, 25, okay, 25, I agree with you. Now this is a Roadrunner. This I can sell. Legitimately, the car's worth a quarter, 25 grand. Yeah. So now we're at around 50. Yeah. 68? 68, one owner car. 10 grand? No. You kidding me? It's $15,000 car. You can sell it Retail? for 20. No. Yes. No. I came your way a little bit here. Let's call the whole package 60. Okay. Okay. So. Good. Show me your Range Rover. I'm going to do what it takes within reason to get these four cars because I want the Range Rover out of my life. This has a sunroof, this has all the toys, the leather, the piping, everything, come on. Yes, about 80,000 miles. Yeah, but it rested on the side of the road a lot. <laughs> the minimum I can deal with him is uh, the Range Rover, $18,000. I know that I lose money, but it's a deal. And I made deal all the time with him. Sometimes I take money, sometimes I lose money, but it's business. This one, how Retail. much do you think? 45. 45, it's around 35 to 40. So how much you give Your me? Your cars are really worth 50, so I should give you $10,000 and we're done. No. Come on, I'm in the car business and so are you. Yes. I'll give you 10,000 and the Range Rover. You need the Range Rover, you need it for your family. Okay, 18, we do the deal. No. Think about it. You know, I do so many deals with you, I really don't like to get in this discussion. With you and me, we don't argue, we don't fight. Okay. And I'm trying to be fair with you, you need it for your family. I'll give you 15,000 cash. Okay, we have the deal. Done? Yeah, okay, it's okay. Good. Easy as that. Yeah. It's always pleasant with you. But the deal is good with, uh, with Ted because uh, I gave it to him for a nice car. He can sell it with uh, profit. And I have the car I want. Sometimes we make deal and it's always cars. But today I take cash, so I'm happy. I'm ecstatic about the deal. I got four beautiful pieces of merchandise. Had to give a little money, no problem. And I got rid of the Range Rover. Oh God, am I happy. Lucy, I gotta tell you, the place looks wonderful. It does, you, doesn't it? Yeah, you and Marcus knocked it out of the park. We did, and I'm glad you like all the cars and 57 everything. Chevy. Yeah, and I like on it. the Ford here, yeah, which is yeah, fabulous, yeah. and the tables, everything looks great. Where is the uh, guest of honor? Now, just before, you know, you see the car, it's not exactly what you wanted, but it's a beautiful car. And there's a Woody. It's a Woody with and all, all wood. of the wood. Beautiful, yes. okay. It's a gorgeous car. And what did you pay for it? 25,000. 25,000 isn't bad for it's not bad a Woody. At all. No, not for bad any at all. Woody that's decent, it's worth the money. Not bad at all. I'm yeah. happy. And it runs yeah. good? Runs perfectly well. 
great condition, everything. You're gonna love it. I'm excited. When do I see it? He's gone to get it. I think he's coming round now. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look. You're nuts. What, are you kidding me? Marcus, he doesn't like the car. Are you like kidding me, Marcus? Don't play with me. I mean, this is look. a $1,000, $2,000 car. I am not going to accept the Guys, 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 guys. Be positive. Just look. I'm positively angry. Just no, look just turn behind. around. <laughs> Got you. Very funny. <laughs> Very funny. brilliant. Now, look at this. Uh, this is a car. It's beautiful. This is a Tim this Woody. This is it. I told you. It's beautiful. I told you. Why did you do this to me? So the joke went really, really well. His face was just of sheer shock. He really believed that we'd bought that car. So when he actually saw the real Tin Woody that we bought, he was very, very happy. Loves it. I knew he would, and that's why I wanted to play the prank on him a little bit, because he winds us up on a daily basis. He's grumpy, he's miserable. So for the first time, we decided to make fun out of him, and it definitely worked. We had Ted going for a while. The car came up right in the right time. Everything worked out perfect. And, uh, you know, that happens when you tell jokes. Sooner or later, somebody gets you back. You know, I really fell for it hook, line, and sinker. I didn't think Lucy would do that. I knew Marcus would, but I didn't think Lucy would. I probably should have known better. I was due one of those. This Tin Woody is perfect for this event, no question about it. You know, the Tin Woody was the next thing after the wooden cars. It has the same look, but it's no maintenance. And it's just, you know, cheaper to make. You know, Woody's invoke a lot of memories in people, especially the station wagon Woody's. We were kids, we all went on that summer trip with one of them, and it's vacation all over again. It's just a fun car to ride around in. Marcus and Lucy went way out of their way to really make something happen, and they did it.